Hello, I'm Sunshine. I'm your underwear addict. Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. Welcome back if you have. And here I will ramble for a few minutes. Uh, oh. I don't know if you can hear the neighbor's dogs or not. Um, but apparently at the moment they're very vocal. <laughs> so, <laughs> I totally lost where I was. Um, yeah, so here I ramble for a few minutes about underwear, or I will ramble for a little bit longer about underwear. Uh, everything is off the top of my head. I don't script any of the videos, so it is uh, what I am able to think of. I do try and think about it and kind of have a couple questions in my mind as I'm wearing them to kind of go, what what do I feel and, and things like that. Um, and there was something else I was, ah, yes. Not all underwear is meant for a full day. Um, I do a review based on if it's for a full day or not. I will uh, talk about if I think it's not meant for a full day. Because today's pair um, is not meant for a full day. And today's pair was also a request um, from the comments, Norden to zero. I wrote it down, I have to look. Norden201, thank you for um, the request. Um, so I am going to be reviewing uh, a jockstrap pair from Jockmail is the name of the company. And so let's take a look at these. Jock straps or backless briefs, jock briefs, um, I don't turn all the way around uh, as I then have to age restrict the video and I try not to do that unless I feel it's really necessary. Um, so if you want to see more pictures, I'm just going to say this, um, there are pictures on my Instagram and uh, so yeah, because Instagram. I can turn around, things like that. So there are these. Oh, and I did write down what they say they are made of. 92% cotton, 8% spandex, um, which I figure is probably just the pouch or they're doing it as the pouch is all cotton and this is the spandex. I'm not sure, but... Anyways, <laughs> into the review. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna give some background on this. Um, I'm, I've never really been a fan of jock straps. Um, not my thing, but um, was doing my Instagram, which is me just modeling underwear. Um, and so I, through that process was buying underwear um, that I wouldn't normally wear just so I could take pictures in it. Yes, that's why I call myself your underwear addict because um, I would buy underwear with no intention of wearing, like wearing them outside of just taking pictures. Um, so I had found these in a store and um, loved them because they reminded me of the German flag. And my parents were both from Germany. Um, they have since passed, so they have no idea that I do this. Um, so it totally reminded me of the German flag. So that was why I bought these, because it was like, yeah. Um, one thing that I've discovered is when doing photography, black is hard to show a lot of the details. So I tend not to buy now for like my Instagram and doing these videos. I don't buy anything that's really black. Um, but this was the first jockstrap I ever bought for myself. And I did wear it one day. Um, 
going, okay, well, what's, what, what is the rape? Like, because people love them. And I was like, I wasn't that thrilled. Um, because this is not, like, if you're wearing these all day, these are not that comfortable. This is just very thick, goes, and it it's not that comfortable. But here's the thing, is that if you are wearing these for a shorter period of time, they're a lot of fun. And I, at that time, not aware that there were times you would only wear underwear for a shorter amount of time. I hadn't really thought about that. It was like utilitarian. You know, there were lots of fun styles, but so in doing this, my mind has been expanded. <laughs> I'm learning things. And, um, and yeah, so I will periodically wear these for a full day and did that again, uh, for this review. And, um, again, it, it is, these can, can shift a bit, not like for a full day, if you're like working, things like that. I don't know if you heard that. That was my ankle. I'm sorry. Um, no, the, but they do support things quite nicely. And one thing that is nice about a jock strap is that you can feel your pants um, and for me, it's as I wear briefs, it it's a different sensation. I'm not used to it. So at times I am aware, uh, more aware of where I am in the clothing that I'm wearing as we just, you know, put on clothes. And a lot of times we don't really notice the textures and uh, things like that and how it feels, how it makes us feel, how we feel in it and all those sorts of things. So I'm finding that I do... Um, it was what are called jock briefs. I'm not gonna um, show an example right now because I don't have any from the same brand and I don't wanna do that. Um, but they're like briefs, they come forward and then either go to a thin strap here or um, sometimes the company will call them backless briefs because they'll go a bit further and there's a hole cut out, um, things like that. But basically in the back, it's almost a jock strap, but it looks like a brief from the front and I I can't remember if I was given a pair of those or if I bought them but got a pair of those I have done a review um, so it's in the back catalog if you want to look through um, and they definitely changed my mind uh, about jock straps um, because yeah they can be uh, they can be very comfortable, and even actual jock straps can be more comfortable. Um, this one really is more all about how it looks, and I think it looks fabulous. I think it looks great. It's um, it's a lot of fun, but they can be more comfortable. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it all depends on what you're looking for in a jock strap. Um, if you're wanting to wear it all day, there are ones that um, where the straps are a bit more comfortable. They'll um, I have one pair where they just use the bias tape. Um, that's kind of your fabric edging um, on most of your underwear or on other clothing. It's a fabric edging. If you're not familiar with what that is. Um, and that was definitely a lot more comfortable. Um, another pair, it's more, um, I think the elastic was, is thinner, um, so not as wide, and also coated with um, material, so it's not just the straight elastic on the skin, things like that. So there, and most brands, like I haven't looked at the Jock Mill catalog online, but I'm pretty sure they do other styles of jock straps as well. Most companies do varying things, right? So there's a lot of a lot of things available, and I would definitely get um, another pair from this company um, because there are times I will only wear underwear now for a short period of time, 
and they're fun. They're because um, it, yeah. If you're not having fun, what's the point? It, it's clothing. Have fun, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure quite what. Oh, um, one thing with this pair in particular, and maybe because it was my first one, so I was not as familiar. Jock straps. A lot of times, the sizing can be a bit different than. Um, the regular briefs from the same company. So again, as I'm now stating in a lot of videos, as I've really discovered, check the sizing uh, guide for the company when you're, whether you're in the store or um, whether you're you're purchasing online. This one, I think I, I just looked to see that it was the right size, medium and kind of went with that. Um, so I have a feeling that if I was getting these now, I might actually be getting one that was a slightly larger size, just because a lot of times the the sizing is different um, because these aren't very big in the pouch for me. Um, and that's something that I notice. So, but they're still quite comfortable. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out. I feel like I've been pretty in a way kind of brutal to these guys and it's and I'm kind of sad about that because this was my first first pair not knowing anything really about them and like what to look for any of that and I do still really like them and will periodically mm -hmm. bring them out so again thank you for the request I really appreciate it. I also really appreciated it because it meant the person was on my Instagram. So link for my Instagram will be in the description because otherwise how did they know I had these? Actually there probably are ways because I've been pretty open and honest with all my friends and and everything about doing this. So um but I don't know who this person is. Um or I may know who they are but I haven't made any connection. I don't know that um username so so again thank you for the request i really appreciate it uh if you have requests if you have um questions uh that uh, about underwear that you would like me to think about because i haven't thought about like there's so many things to be aware of when wearing underwear and i've just kind of come up with a few questions that i kind of think about and whatnot but if there's other things that you think i would uh, like to be aware of or if you just have these questions I can definitely try and answer them things like that also if there's other uh, brands or styles that you'd like me to uh, try and review pop those in the comments and I will do my best to do those um, yeah so I do a new video every two weeks and so yeah, notification bell, all that. I know you know how it works. Um, so yeah, with all of those things being said, my biggest hope is that you enjoyed the video and that you have a great day. Bye for now.